everybody, it's Cinnamon Cooney, your Art Sherpa, and today I'm so excited to show you this really fun and easy lesson that you can do today, this abstract peony. This is based on Sherpa design by Jen McQueen. For more information about that, check the description below. This is one brush, use one brush the whole thing. So get your brush, get your paints, come back and meet me with these all right now. We're gonna paint this really fun flower. So let's look at the materials we're gonna use to make this really beautiful and relaxing painting. This is an 11 by 14 canvas board and I have painted it black with black gesso. But of course you could use any black paint you have and you can buy them already black from the store. Over here I have these really fun colors. I have dioxinine purple, sometimes called diox purple, phthalo blue, quinacridone magenta, cad yellow medium, and titanium white. But you can use any colors you have or want. You can be as creative with this as you'd like. I'm going to start this with a number six Cambridge Bright. This has a mix of natural bristles and synthetic filaments, so it holds up against acrylic paint. And I'm going to start with something called dry brushing. So whenever you hear somebody talk about dry brushing in a tutorial, what they mean is that you're not adding a lot of water to the paint to thin it out. You're brushing the paint on kind of scratchy and dry. So let me show you how you can do that really easily. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to load up my brush both sides. I haven't even put it in any of the water that I have with just the white paint. I'm going to come over to my canvas where I have drawn in with kids chalk my flower. You can find the traceable for this on my website uh, at theartsherpa.com and check the description in the links below. So I have the paint on these bristles and I'm going to come up here and very lightly and kind of I like to sort of curve my my brush so that the, the stroke is thick. I'm not looking for a fine stroke at all, actually. I'm gonna just come around here where I've put in my lines to help me and put in some dry brushing. I'm gonna come over and get a little more dry white paint. And maybe you pull some of this white down here on the right hand side, coming here and pulling a little line in the center. This is creating values that start to give shape to your leaf. Some of these we're gonna paint in with white and some of them we're gonna paint in with a color. So this next one here, this is a skinnier little curly leaf. I love peonies. I think that they have a lot of personality for us to enjoy. And I love the idea of this design. I'm so glad to be able to share it with you today. All right, coming right here. All right, let's tuck a little a little guy here, but I might paint that a color, so I'm not gonna put that much white there, All right? This petal is sort of larger and curved, and I'm trying to show the scoop of that. So I'm just gonna put in that outline there. You can see this is pretty easy, right? Just coming around. Sometimes I find it helps to flip my canvas over if I'm in an awkward angle. This one I'm gonna brush in like this with just the white. So what I liked about this design was that it was abstract and charming and had great color and great form. And you know, just because you're new to painting doesn't mean that you won't have like a great design or a really cool idea. And so it's exciting for me to get to share those things, you know. Um, here we go. For more information about this painting, the designer, and everything that you need to know, definitely check the description below. And of course, that will be on theartsherpa.com too. So I'm going to flip this around. And I'm just dry brushing these lines in now. Some of them I'll make thick. I'm gonna pull in a little curve line and see that gives me a little shape to my, my petal here, right? If the line is very heavy and thick, if it has a different weight than if it's quite thin. Right, so I want some of these to be kind of, I'll take this one here maybe and 
come in, I go brush, brush, and then that's a little curved stroke and then pull down. And that's pretty nice. Now this color right here, I'm going to come in and I'm actually going to get some of my quinacridone here. And I'm going to just dry brush this in. So you can go ahead and pull some of that down on the left hand side, come on the edge of your brush and dry brush down here. A lot of my black canvas should be showing through. And I'm going to be coming back up over this with quite a lot of white. But the line's going to help me keep it together when I do that. All right, so this is how I simplified the original design so that you could do this really easily. Now I'm going to pull some of this dry brushed pink up. Even though I know I'm going to come back with quite a lot of white. Just here on the edge of my brush. You can see like I can even get pretty far back on my handle if I feel like it. You know, if I have long handle. If you're painting at a table, you'll probably be painting much closer up and I'll just dry brush this in. See, just a lot of the black is showing through, but here comes the pink. And you can see this flower is already taking shape, isn't it? Let's come here. One of the things that's very popular right now, and I have been enjoying doing on my channel, is these dark florals. Um, there's more dark florals that you can find here. I even have a finger painting one, if you'd like to try. Just more stuff to do. Now just pull this down. So come get maybe a little more white on this one. And just coming back here. So I just add a little more white on that. And you can kind of see the direction I'm going to be going when I come in. The last one of this little inner group. This is a painting that would look really good on a very big canvas. So feel like you can do that. A lot of great artists working on these types of flowers. Now rinse, 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 rinse out my brush. And I'm going to take a little of my quinacridone. Also, if I rinse it out, I'm going to dry it off on a towel because it won't be a dry brush if it's not a dry brush. I'm going to take a little of my quinacridone my cad yellow and I'm going to make a bright orange right here and I'm going to come here and still dry brush some of these petals back in following my chalk lines. I like using kids chalk or charcoal, white charcoal because it vanishes into the paint very nicely. I'm just trying to make sure. Maybe this time I'll get a little more yellow here. That my petals, I can tell who's who. So I might come back with my yellow line. Just ma I'm just making sure that these little petals that I've designed, I can tell them all one from the other. See, I'm just sketching with paint. It's super fun. It's very relaxing. Kind of like the artist version of doodling. Right. Maybe here in the center I'm going to get a little of my red, my yellow, and just make sure that that's a little deeper. All right, so once that's all in, I'm going to rinse, 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 rinse out my brush. I'm thinking I'm going to be doing this whole painting with one brush, so that's sort of exciting. All right, let's start the outer petals. Now the outer petals are going to be a combo of phthalo blue and diox purple, and that makes some beautiful colors in my opinion. And I'm going to start putting in the dark value into my big leaf here. So since this is curled, right, what I'm going to want to do, painting around my dry brushing, is I'm going to want to put in this shadow. 
you don't really see it, you're probably only seeing the wetness of the paint, but your eye will pick up these colors. And then as I'm going, I'm going to add a little white to my mix and a little blue. And you'll start to see this really pull together. And I'm going to see, I haven't really put water on my brush. I'm still keeping it very dry. This is sort of an exciting way of painting, I think. Let's get a little more of the blue here. So it's really popping. Like you do. Ah, it's phthalo blue. Maybe on this outside edge. And I think I'm going to get some phthalo blue and some white. Put a little bit there. Let's just talk briefly. Let's get some purple for this right here. So I went and just got some purple. I haven't rinsed out my brush. Let's get a little white. Just touching it, and I'm just going to dry brush this back here with just a little bit of color, leaving quite a lot of my black. See, I just brush, brush, brushed it. Maybe a little bit of this, and get some quinacridone this time. Right there, see all that? It's all just on there. And I'm brushing. This is such a beautiful, relaxing, fun piece to do. Look at that. So these petals just start to appear almost. I'm going to wipe my brush off here on my towel. And I'm going to take a little of my Dox and a little of my Quinacridone. And I'm grabbing some white so that this pops from the canvas. And let's paint this upper purple. Just let's paint this upper purple. So nice curving around here, letting these colors just tell the story, doesn't it? I'm letting the petals stay dark here. Maybe a little more of that. Pink. So this is sort of curled. So we're going to want to definitely, definitely put the color right here at the edge, but let this part be Dark. I'm going to get a little more red and some white. I'm at it. Come around the outside of this petal that's curled and just make sure the two values show really well. All right, we're doing super good. Let's come over here. A little more red. Maybe this time we mix it with the blue. It'll give us a slightly different aspect. Just brush stroking, isn't that pretty? It's like a galaxy almost like a galaxy flower. And you know I love a galaxy. Just paint that out. If I feel like it. And I do. All right. How you doing? Doing great? Just brushing back. You're like, dry brushing. It's crazy. I want to cover all the canvas. But this time you're not going to cover all the canvas. I'm going to get some just white on my brush, but it's got the pigment that's on it. I'm going to come here. Just very lightly paint some of this petal. Look at that, how that just comes together. Then we're going to come real dark again. This one is so blue. Dry brushing that in. Taking that right deep into here. Next one, or maybe I get a little purple. I'll try to brush some of that into there. Really let this pop. And the same right here. Now I'm going to wipe this off on my towel again. And I'm going to come do some red on the outside edge. Red on the outside edge. So I haven't taken the purple completely off my brush. And I've added red and it does this for me. And that's a trick that sometimes when you're new you don't know you can do, which is that if everything is going to work really well together, you can leave a little pigment on your brush. I'm just adding more quinacridone and brushing this part of the flower out. 
that is pretty awesome. I'm going to rinse, 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 rinse out my brush. I'm going to get just a little of the pink back on there. It's just the pink. Make sure it's it's dry. That's the thing is uh, bristles and hairs can pull in a lot of water, which is why sometimes acrylic artists don't enjoy them as much. So uh, if you're going to use them in your painting, you've got to just make sure that they are a little more dried out and that's all and then they're perfect. So I got too much pigment on there. So see I'm going to offload because I want quite a light pink. Here we go. Got that. You can see the bead of paint I have almost. And I'm going to just dry brush this in a little bit. I'm going to leave my darker pink outline. So even though these petals are going to become quite bright and white, that pink is going to carry through. In my outline and in every way. And this paint is quite thick. Look, I'm dry brushing, but I'm putting it on thick, or sometimes what they like to call it in art is impasto. So that's the thing that I'm doing here. See, look at you, just painting a gorgeous, gorgeous piece for your wall. I'm gonna grab some more of this. Here we go, just letting that be there. And see, I'm doing the same thing I did with black where I leave some of it. Let's get a little of our yellow on the brush. Come here. It's kind of interesting. I'm gonna put some of it here. Couple places, look, just put it a couple places and I enjoyed that. So here we go. Just hanging this out. Just a fun, happy, dry brushed abstract that I'm putting in with just one brush. Things don't gotta be stressful. We can just breathe in. I grabbed a little more yellow there. All right. There we go. Oh, too much yellow. So where I had too much pigment, I'm just going to grab some more white. See how I have a bead of it on this brush? And I can come right over where I kind of have my boo-boo and just it becomes a good part of the painting. That is what they mean by happy accident, is it just can be okay. I want to get back into my pink, so I'm going to rinse out. I'm going to get my pink again in my white. A little stronger this time, right? And here I come. Here I come. There we go. I'm going to take some of that around into this yellow. Just dry brushing. Let's little bits of color to create this beautiful look. Now here in the center, and believe it or not, we are literally nearly done on this floral abstract. I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to just brush inside these petals right over. I'm just almost on the corner. Like that. There we go. When you have that all done, you can take a look at your piece and be like, you know, does it feel gorgeous? Does it feel like how you want it to feel? Does it remind you of the flowers in your garden? If you like it and it does, you get to sign it. Let me find my sign and brush. I'm going to come to the end of my flower. I like to think about where my signature goes. I like to have it be part of the painting. 
because it is part of the painting. It's part of the composition. So as an artist, that's not something you have to think about, but it's something you get to think about. This is great. I'm so glad we got to spend this time together. So listen, I hope you love your abstract peony. I hope you love this. Check the information out in the description below. Share this with me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, just all the places, Pinterest, and of course our website. And I want to see you at the easel really soon.